too hot to push with this hammer on. It's too hot, pretty hot. Yeah. Go out and do another and see you in a few minutes. I got uh, if you can just tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're from, and you know how's it been all these days, and you know in Delhi, are you enjoying yourself, the atmosphere, and everything? I'm from uh, Newcastle in Australia, and I've been here for about a, a week training and getting ready for my competition. Uh, it's been fantastic. I've been to uh, three Paralympics and three Olympic Games, and uh, this is my first Commonwealth <coughs> Games. But yeah, it's been a it's been a real success. Mm -hmm. And how are you how, how are you liking it over here? The facilities, the, the, the new stadiums. The yeah, the facilities have been really good, and uh, you know the wheelchair access to get into buildings and to access to to uh, restrooms and facilities has been you know as good as I've ever seen. So a lot of people have put some thought into making sure that these games were accessible to people in wheelchairs and even uh, accessible buses to and from transport. You know, this is hopefully going to have a, a, a nice legacy for the Indian people. And uh, what else have you done over here apart from, you know, shuttling between the venues and training ground? And, uh, uh, that's about it. No, I, I haven't actually got to get out and do much. I've, uh, I've wanted to try and get to the Taj Mahal, but I haven't uh, I haven't been able to, to, to get booked in. But I'm, I'm going to start wandering around a little bit now and get to as you know a couple of temples and uh, and uh, yeah, you know hopefully out to a uh, a few places in town. Right. Have you tried out any Indian food? Oh mate, yeah, I, I love Indian food, so I've tried out a bit as, as much as I could kind of get my hands on. I'm a, a big fan of Indian food back home, so. Uh, right. yeah. What else? Uh, how's the food in the dining hall? The athletes' dining hall. Yeah, the athletes' dining hall has been probably the best quality food that I've had in. Uh, you know, again, I raced at Sydney, mm -hmm. Paralympics and Olympics, and then Athens, and then Beijing, and you know, the quality of food over here has been second enough to win a gold medal. Even to make it here, the training-wise is, uh, you know, it's, it's it, it takes a, a lot of commitment and a and a big chunk of your life to be put towards the sport. And then uh, to win a gold medal, you need to be a bit fortunate, and you need to just you know leave everything out there and and to have a real crack on the day, and hopefully every now and then it pays off and you come home with the gold. Have you seen any Hindi films over here? No, I haven't. No, uh, but did. if you can recommend a couple, I'll go find one. A couple of Hindi films? You're open to watching Hindi films with songs and dances and everything? Yeah, well, the, uh, the, the, I'm pretty familiar with Bollywood films, but I haven't uh, I haven't been able to see any, not since I've been here. Okay, anything else you would like to share, Bob? Para sports, I want to motivate you to come here. Anything else you would like to share, about? No, I don't think Any so. Any unique experience? Uh, no, not that I can think. I just uh, got my head into training and I race again in three weeks' time in New York, so it's uh -huh. you know it's no, no chance to rest. What just. motivated you to get into para athletes? Uh, I think that I, I always wanted to be as you know if I, if I had adjusted to life in a wheelchair and if I was going to be in the wheelchair, I, I wanted to be the fastest man in a wheelchair. So I started racing chairs and then I. And began to get good at it, and then eventually I was able to become the become the quickest man in the chair. Right, so I mean, um, huh? that is the bike. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Beautiful. Thanks, guys. Thanks a lot.